Excellencies, distinguished guests, and friends from Africa, it gives me immense pleasure to commemorate Africa Day 2022 with you. On behalf of the people and government of Pakistan, I would like to extend heartiest facilitations to the President of Senegal, His Excellency Macky Sall, the current Chairman of the African Union, and to His Excellency Musa Fafi Mahmoud, Chairperson African Union Commission. Celebrated since 1963, Africa Day commemorates the founding of the African Union, but more importantly, it celebrates the African people's heroic struggle for emancipation from colonial rule, as well as their rich cultural heritage and immense economic potential. Pakistan is proud of its role in supporting the African freedom movements in the 1950s and 1960s through political and diplomatic means. We also provided diplomatic passports to African leaders so they could press their case for independence at the UN General Assembly and other multilateral forums. Our common history provides the basis of our mutual trust and respect that makes Pakistan and Africa natural allies. Excellencies, Africa has come a long way since the winds of change blew through the continent. Home to 12 of the top 20 fastest growing economies of the world, Africa today is a powerhouse of 1.4 billion people that generates a collective GDP of $2.6 trillion and has become of late the world's largest free intra-trade space. The people of the continent can rightfully rejoice in their achievements. Excellencies, Pakistan has a long and rich history of maintaining friendly relations with Africa, which predates the establishment of the African Union. Apart from standing behind the African people in their struggles against colonialism, racism and apartheid, Pakistan has extended development and humanitarian assistance where needed and supported key capacity building initiatives throughout the continent. I am gratified to note that political, economic and security engagements between Pakistan and African countries remain on an upward trajectory. In recent years, Pakistan has revitalized its diplomatic outreach to the African continent through the opening of new embassies in many important capitals. The government of Pakistan is resolved to further enhance trade and investment between Pakistan and African countries, which remains below potential. It is also our desire to cooperate with regional economic communities in Africa, especially those lying in our closest proximity, such as East Africa Community, IGAD and ECOWAS. Excellencies, Pakistan and Africa have traditionally enjoyed close defense and security cooperation, with many generations of Africa, uh, African officers having trained at Pakistan's elite military institutions. We have opened a new chapter in our defense cooperation when Pakistan made its first overseas sale of the indigenously developed JF-17 Thunder aircraft. Our growing cooperation in counterterrorism illustrates a new dimension in our overall security cooperation. Even as we have waged our valiant war against terrorism over the past 20 years, Pakistan has contributed 120,000 troops to 46 such operations across African countries. 168 Pakistani military officers and soldiers have made the ultimate sacrifice while performing peacekeeping duties, including the six who perished in the helicopter crash in the Democratic Republic of the Congo on the 29th of March, 2022. Excellencies, I close with reiterating our firm commitment to forging a stronger partnership with Africa in all areas of mutual endeavor. I reaffirm Pakistan's full support to the aspirations of the African people for peace progress and development. I thank you very much and wish you a very happy Africa Day. Long live Pakistan-Africa friendship.